Yo, L, this heat is crazy. It's ridiculous. I'm hot now and we're in the AC. My <laughs> AC been fighting this heat all day. And hey. I think the heat winning. <laughs> I'm gonna have to work for PSE and G after this. Listen, it's ridiculous outside. Yeah, this is this is. I definitely want everybody to be careful because this is that stroke weather. I yes. mean, hydrate yourself, check on yes. your loved ones because especially your elders. Oh, absolutely. I see people turn the heat on by mistake and things mm -hmm. of that nature. And I think you told me that they don't feel the heat. Yeah, they don't really uh, feel heat like uh, younger generations do. They they typically their body temperature really sets low anyway. Gotcha. So they're always particularly run um, on the cold side. Gotcha. For the most part. Now that's not everybody, yeah, but yeah, for yeah, the most gotcha, part. Gotcha. Check on the elderly. Yeah, check on the <laughs> check, check on your people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, check all your people, for real. Anyone you know who lives by themselves, um, or don't have a good support system, definitely check on them. Yeah. Um, you don't want someone just stuck in the house and not knowing that they may have had a stroke or something like this. Because this weather, this weather right here, this it's is disrespectful. Serious. Oh, yeah, yeah. This it's is, disrespectful. They said uh, Portland was like 115 yesterday. Oh, real. This is cooking on the sidewalk Listen, weather. When, when you get up at, uh, at 8 o'clock and it's 90 degrees already, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> it's a problem at 8 o'clock in the morning, okay? Sun Facts. barely up. Facts. <laughs> on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! It's so, a heat advisory at 7 a.m. Warning: When you when your alarm goes off in the morning to wake up, there's a heat advisory. Stay at home. Crazy. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about. It. I got a. Um, I did receive a uh, message and it was asking me about uh, TikTok. Mm -hmm. uh, and it it went. Uh, it, it was talking about TikTok explaining or having some sex education type um we'll say tiktoks that the kids can learn sex education from and the question they posed to me is what did i feel or how did i feel about my child learning um about sex on tiktok so mm. so i pose it to you first what do you what do you think well as a non-parent i'll just <laughs> 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 well yeah sure um, I think that if you feel some type of way about your kids learning uh, sex education on TikTok, then they shouldn't be on TikTok. Okay. Um, I know that there is uh, sexually explicit material that is out on YouTube mm -hmm. and... Uh, Instagram and all these other different social media platforms and if you want sex education to come from you and in a more professional way or even from school whatever the case may be traditional sex education terms then I think you shouldn't let allow your kids access to these different types of platforms mm -hmm. that they can get the information from right also I would say monitor what your kids view now we know that tiktok is just oh is the wild wild west so again if you don't want your kids viewing that type of stuff and you don't want them to learn that from tiktok then there's worse stuff out there that they can learn mm -hmm. so that that's that's my initial take on it gotcha and, and so i'm kind of in the same uh boat right so my thing is they're learning a lot of things on TikTok regardless, right? TikTok is, whether you know it or not, it's teaching your kids a lot of different values, a lot of different things. I mean, that's all, with any type of social media, anything we're watching, it's teaching a lot of different things, right? So if TikTok is a major way kids are viewing and consuming things, they're advertising, think about it, the newest dance come from TikTok. Mm -hmm. How the songs come from TikTok. You know, what's current come from TikTok. So if they're saying, you know what? If we're going to put something out that kind of um, uh, talks about sex or has some sexual education in it through TikTok, I'm all for it, right? Because they're learning stuff anyway. And like I said, if you don't feel like they're ready for that, then they like kind of like use it. Don't be on TikTok at all because you're learning whether you experience, know it or not. You know, and that's funny because parents have to understand, even, even myself, when I first uh, was introduced to TikTok, 
I thought it was just like a thing where people do funny dances and things of that nature, right? Mm -hmm. um, but monitoring it and monitoring what my daughter sees, I started seeing there's, this is, it's everything on there, right? This is, they're learning so much about everything. Mm -hmm. Now, they're learning it in a negative light sometimes because there's no explanation with it. But if there could be some videos that are talking about, you know, uh, certain things in, 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 in a way that is positive, in a way that's educational, I'm all for it, right? I think that, you know, we need to have, to balance out all the negativity out there. Cause we're not saying, you know, people are, it's funny when they say, oh, we don't want to learn sex education, but you're not saying, well, let's make this all more PG. Like, let's take this all, tone it down and sanction everything on here. That's not uh, what we'll deem to be appropriate. That's not what we're doing. Because if I'm if I'm not mistaken, I don't really know anything about TikTok. But is it um, age? Is it divided by age? Oh, absolutely not. So it's the wild wild west anyway. So you don't know what your kid is going to get on there and see. Mm -hmm. At least with YouTube, it is you can put some type of parental guidelines mm -hmm. on it. But if you allow your kids on TikTok, you have to be prepared for them to see any and everything absolutely. that TikTok will allow. Absolutely. So. My thing is always education, education, education. The biggest weapon my child can have is being educated to what is or what is not, you know, right or what we'll say what right or wrong um, values we have. So if we see something on TikTok, we can discuss it and talk about, you know, how we feel about that incident or what is going on with this or, or where this should be or this should only happen in certain places, right? So you start to teach them and we have to really stop um, what I would say is being so afraid of sex mm -hmm. right as being sexual beings the feelings that we have and again remember we were kids once yeah right we were kids once we, we we can't forget that as children growing up we're very inquisitive and if we're only learning through our friends or what we see which may not be accurate we have a, a, a our view of sex and things are really distorted and it's, it's funny you said that because there we i think parents are looking at it um and but I'll take that back. I think present parents are only looking at it through the lens of present parents. There's kids out there without any guidance from a parental source that don't know much of anything. So a lot of their education is coming from social media. Mm. And if there's some good education out there, that will benefit kids who wouldn't normally have that exposure to good sex educational information. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I take a step further. It's, it's we have parents that may, maybe just don't have the words right this right? is a just a, don't a have the ability starter. yeah just don't have the ability to really talk about it or feel like it's something to talk about but maybe if the kids see something and they asked you like I said that could be the point where you jump in or if you're just not that parent who doesn't who wants to hide their head in the sand like an ostrich and feel like the world is not going on around them at least this kid may get some positive um, views of sex and sex education through TikTok or maybe some other, hopefully they can add it to some other platform. Now, like I said, if you're talking about, oh, my kid, it's too early for my kid to learn, then they don't need to be on this platform at all. Exactly. Right? Zero. So whatever you have your kids viewing, you should, you know, you should know what they're viewing. You know, you should be viewing it with them. You should, you know, like again, my daughter's TikTok is on my phone so I can see what she sees. Um, see what she's liking, we can talk about it. If we're not doing that, then we're doing our, our kids a, dis, a disservice. And hence the reason that I think we need these type of things out there. Um, and, and even in schools, I know New Jersey school can only teach abstinence, mm -hmm. right? They can't teach different forms of contraceptive. They can't, they can't really teach. They really teach from one point of view as don't do it. Uh, I hear you, but that's not most kids. Most kids are going to do it or dibble and dabble, or try, or whatever the case may be. So we need to talk to them, prepare them for it, and give them a reason maybe why it's not not, not a real good reason to do it. Like give them more of a reason of saying not to do it because of yada, 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 not just don't do it because da, 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 da. That doesn't really work that way. Right, no, not at all. You know, and then even take it further, you know, we we're uh, I think it was what, the BET Awards? Uh, I seen people in the uproar uh, as well about uh, Little Nas X kissing one of the other dancers on stage. And they uh, attributed to, I think it was uh, Britney Spears and um, 
I forget whoever else when they did a kiss. I forget who it was, but some, you know, whatever it was, they did, yeah. they did a kiss. And people are like, oh my God, this is destroying our, our society. They're kissing. It's a kiss. And you see more in movies mm -hmm. than like, they're going to be exposed to it, mm -hmm. either in front of you or with, again, with their friends. You don't know what goes on into another uh, person's household. So you allow your kids to go over and spend the night at Jimmy's house. And Jimmy's parents don't have all the same guidelines or mm -hmm. restrictions that you may have. So they allow them to watch certain movies that will show a bit of kissing or sex or whatever the case may be. The thing about it is you have to be proactive and teach your kids exact all of the things that you Absolutely. want them to know. If you want it to come from you, then you need to start early and make sure that they're learning what you want them to learn. Well, again, you forget, you know, we talk about movies, but I dare to, to say most cartoons have some type of kissing in Snow White, you know, uh, Aladdin, mm -hmm. you know, all the all your favorites have a kissing scene in them, yeah, right? right? Every one of them. So uh, it's kissing, right? Now, uh, do I think if somebody would have pulled a penis out or something? Okay, I, I can see someone being uproar by something like that, right? Mm -hmm. But a kiss, like, we have to stop being so- Outraged. Oh, just stuck up, right? Like we keep hiding, and I think I was talking about this too, like we keep hiding positive forms of love. Mm -hmm. Right, we make it love such a negative thing and has to be in secret, right? What's in secret that is positive, really? Right? If you gotta hide it, what? I don't, I don't really. To me, it's like if I can see people showing love in a positive way, why not? Exactly. Why not? You're showing your kids it's okay to be affectionate mm -hmm. with someone you care about, right? And now it's up to me to frame that, right? To say when I feel that you should do it, or when I feel like it should be right, I can frame it for you as best I can. But at the end of the day, the kid is gonna make his own decision of how they enact this or, or show this, right? Absolutely. And kids are doing it. Mm -hmm. I was doing it as a kid. So as a parent, if you weren't doing it as a kid, I, I get maybe your ignorance and you feel like your kid won't do it. But most of our parents, as kids, we were doing this nonsense. We were sneaking around doing these things. Know your kids are gonna sneak around and do it. Don't, ha don't make them have to sneak around and do it. Talk to them about it, right. educate them. So they can come to you when there's questions. Right? I'd rather my daughter be able to come to me and say, Dad, this is going on, than hide it and get into a worse situation. Mm, you know absolutely. What I'm um, you know, so I think, like you said, weaponize our kids with education mm -hmm. is the best thing we can do. Hands down. I mean, and it, it really sums it up. I mean, and we talked about it. I mean, TikTok, we both agreed that we think it's a good thing. Yeah, you know? why not? Yeah, we think it's a good thing. And if it's not a good thing, then you put parameters around it for your child. But understand, these parameters can't be, um, they, they, it can't be a parameter where, well, I don't want them to learn about sex ed, but everything on there is sex, sexual. Right. The, the, the dances The dances. Sexual. Yes. Yeah. The suggestions, the things that are going on are sexual. Your kids are learning this. Mm -hmm. So please teach them about it so that they don't end up, you know, trying to on their own, or learn, learning things on their own. Own. Earn. I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay. That was my down south. Learn to earn. <laughs> no disrespect, what I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, so listen, thank you for joining us for this one. Hey, hit the comments. Let us know what you feel about, you know, TikTok. Is it okay or not? You know how we feel about it. I know the button's up there. Oh, turn this down. We, we, we don't call this anything yet, right? <laughs> <laughs> no? It's just, we just doing it. And we're back. Back from where? <laughs> where we left off. <laughs> hey. Hey, um... Listen. Hold on. Okay. All right. Well, start over again. Okay. All right. Man, there's a lot. Hold on. <laughs> okay. I'm glowing. No. Glowing. Why do you move up? How, how do I move up?
I can't go anywhere. <laughs> Did you sit in that pose last time? You weren't sitting that pose. I, I, I didn't move. This is where it was. <laughs>